Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of my Ubuntu tutorials. In today's video, I am going to show you how to change your Ubuntu prompt from something like this, which can be long, to a shorter one like this. All right, so this is what we are going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. Now, if you install Ubuntu for the first time, you may have this behavior coming up when you open the terminal. And then what also happens is that if you cd into any directory, that directory also gets displayed. For example, I say make the tutorial, I cd into it, I get the directory where I am at also being displayed. If I say make the Ubuntu, then I cd into it, that directory also gets displayed. All right, so it goes on and on. So this can be uh, this can make your screen look busy, all right, because you are seeding to different directories, all right. So, one way to prevent this behavior is to issue a command that will allow you to just see something short like this, okay. So, that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. So, to do that, okay, so to change this behavior with terminal so that you have something short like this, you use a single command, it's very simple. So, let me show you how. Let's just start with a new terminal. I'll just move this way. Yeah, I'll use this one. Let's do this. Now I've opened a new terminal on this same session, so I still have this coming up. But I'll just do this. I'll open a fresh terminal here. That'll be better. Okay, so this all right. So to change that behavior, all I have to do is to issue this command. You say export. You say ps1 equals and then you specify the text that you want to display so the text should be in double quote that's what i recommend so i'll say double quotes and i'll say this colon dollar space so this is what i want displayed for me all right so let's do this so if i do that it's done okay so now we have something like this now if you have something like this then what happens is that if you see into any directory it doesn't get shown or displayed let's say make that let's say we're going to let's use this directory and then let's cd into it all right so that directory doesn't get displayed. The only thing that gets displayed on the terminal, on the prompts, all right, is this one here. Okay, of course, all your other commands, you can just show them. For example, if you want to know where you are, you can just say pwd that displayed. Okay, you can also do ls okay, and stuff like that. Those ones will be shown. But then, when you cd into any directory, it doesn't get shown, unlike the previous one like this whereby the directory gets shown so if you want this behavior then that's fine all that you need is to issue this command that's it now you will notice that when i open a new terminal on this same session all right we got the old behavior back okay that's because whatever you've done is not persistent it only works on that particular terminal right so if you open a new terminal like this then that setting is cleared off it doesn't work so if you want this change to be permanent then there's a way to do it and that's what we are going to do that next. so if you want to make it permanent then you have to add this command to your dot bash rc file okay there's other file you can add it but for the most part we will use the bash rc okay so this is what we do so we will do this we are going to add the bash rc file and then place this in it. So let's even use this one. Okay. You can just do a CD, it doesn't matter. I mean, let's do a CD anyway, that's fine. So let's first do a CD. I think that's important because the dot bash RC file is in the home directory. So let's first do a CD and then we can edit. Okay. Alternatively, you can open a new terminal and then still to be sure, just make sure you do a CD. Okay, and then make sure you are in your home directory. So CD will send it to your home directory. So now you can edit that file. So to edit, you say nano, you say dot bash rc. Right, and then you edit it. 
Now I'm using Nano, but you can use any other test editor. You can use VI, Vim, or any test editor for that matter. But I prefer to use Nano because it's straightforward. So I'll use Nano. Now just issue that by chassis. The dots here indicate that the file is a hidden file, so I have to let the uh, bash um, environment or system know that. So we have dot bash. So now I can open it, and when I open it, I'm going to get something like this. Okay, so I'll just scroll down to an empty space and then put that command there. Of course, you can put it anywhere here, but I prefer to have a specific location whereby you place in all commands that you want to put okay commands that does not come packaged with ubuntu so you place them in a separate section so that's what i'm going to so i'm going to scroll that to an empty section and then do it there so i'm scrolling down yes perfect so i have something here so i will do something like this okay so once i'm here i'll issue that same course i'll say exports i say ps1 equals then I bring everything like this, and then I will just edit and save change. So that's Control X, and I'll type Y to save it. All right, so that is done. So now, if I open a new terminal, okay, let's open it. Let's start with a fresh terminal. So if I open it like this, then I'm going to see the behavior. Okay being indicated the one we set because now it's in the device file so that command will be loaded whenever we open a terminal All right so this is how we do it okay so take note of that and so once you have it like this then you can now start doing your stuffs without you having to worry about the text extending All right but if you want to deactivate that behavior then all that i have to do is to open the device file again press cd Another dash rc and then scroll down to where you issue that command which is here let's scroll down and then you can clear it if you can clear it that one is up so you can just clear it okay. so clear everything or you can even put a comment like this and then you can now exit and save change. So now if I do it and I open a new terminal, then the old behavior back. Okay, so that's how we do it. All right, so I'll reverse it back so that I only have that short text display. So I'll just go back and uncomment it. That's what I'm going to. Let's scroll down a bit here. Perfect. So now I have it back. Everything is cool. Okay, so that's how we do it. All right. So if you're also a beginner and you want to learn how to create user accounts in Ubuntu, then I suggest you watch this video. And if you also want to learn how to disable the beeping sound that comes when you are using the Ubuntu channel. There's also a tutorial here that you can watch. So just look at the playlist and you find other tutorials on how to find your way and navigate the Ubuntu system.